all right legends welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be giving you my review of the scarpa rush gtx boots after i've been using these for a few months now so over on my channel you can see my first impressions of these boots 10 minute video that goes it's like an unboxing video just saying what they look like why i got them and the specs and all that kind of stuff but this video a little bit different we're going to be talking about how these have performed now as you know it's quite self-explanatory isn't it walking wild camping uk so the hobbies are walking and wild camping so these have had a lot of wear over the last few months we've been up into the lake district and the peak district a lot we've done a lot of wild camps we've done a few and a lot of Wainwright bagging and um, yeah I've really put them through the paces and uh, they're looking a bit worse for word at the minute they do need a good clean but what can I say the first impressions were good you can see that on the channel I was really happy with the way they looked the way they performed the first five kilometer walk I went on they felt really comfortable and I was really happy with that. But obviously since then, I've managed to get out, get into the Lake District, get into the Peak District, and really put these boots through their paces. And what I've found out is, they are just as good, if not better, than my Scarpa Maverick boots that these replaced, which is, I really didn't think they could be, because the Maverick boots were by far the best boots I'd ever owned before i got these so what i'm gonna do is run over a few points that i think uh you should know about these boots if you want to know the specs and stuff like that you better check in my first impressions video because i write all the specs on the video and uh give you the low down onto you know like the gore-tex and the what the materials and the soles and stuff like that but today i'm just going to be having a quick chat about what i think and what I've found with using the boots. So, in my first impressions video, I mentioned that the boots I had before, the Mavericks, have a really thick tongue and really padded around the ankle, which I loved. And uh, for someone like me who has problems with the feet and ankles, it was fantastic. Really, really beneficial for someone like me. So, when these came and I unboxed them, um they have a much thinner padding around the tongue and around the ankle area so at first i was a little bit apprehensive thinking are they going to be as comfortable well i've took these boots to the lake district i've done 20 plus kilometer days multiple times i've been up skidor i've been up blencathra and all the surrounding fells i did the newlands watershed walk starting at Cat Bells, which was a huge day. Masses and masses of elevation and distance. And they just smashed it, mate. Comfort's really good. Really, really good comfort. Someone's been playing camp here. Not took it down, bit disappointing, but they've had a little fire and stuff. Hey. Anyway, so. The really impressive thing I found was the fatigue element of these. So I haven't put any additional insoles into these boots yet, which I normally do because I actually have issues with my feet and I have flat feet and I get certain issues we'll not go into. So I have NHS um, inner soles that I put into a lot of my shoes, but I haven't done that with these because I wanted to review them as they come out the box and that's what i've done and i've had no issues with them at all they're really comfortable and the fatigue for me long days in the lakes in the peak district long hikes that's what i get up to and normally i do feel that fatigue in the feet you know soreness and whatnot at the end of long days but been really minimal with these really really been impressed 
and I believe that is a lot of the design aspect of them to improve that fatigue when out on those long hikes because these are designed for fell walking 100% these are not for mooching around really struggle road walking no good fell walking absolutely superb I absolutely love them so getting to a few bits now they are Gore-Tex lined and I always pick a Gore-Tex lined boot if I can because waterproofing keeping your feet dry on long day hikes or multi-day hikes is absolutely essential the last thing you want when you're out multi-day hiking or on long hikes expeditions walks is wet feet because that's when you're going to get your issues with blisters rubbing and other ailments so these Gore-Tex line boots are fantastic now I always use a pair of waterproof socks when I'm out hiking it's something I've always chose to well it's something I've chose to do over the last 12 months I just like the extra uh, layer of protection from getting those wet feet you know good hiking socks you're gonna pay a premium for anyway so paying 25 to 30 pound for waterproof breathable hiking socks is a no-brainer for me but that double layer of protection with these Gore-Tex boots is fantastic the grip is phenomenal so the sole of the boot is designed so the front and back grip in different directions so coming down your heels hitting the ground first pushing into the rock or you know grass mud surface you have that grip that way and the same the opposite way with the toes obviously when you're going uphill and you're pushing off that toe you're getting that friction and that grip and the rubber they use the the sole that they use I'm really really impressed with and I've really enjoyed walking with them and I felt really safe in them one thing that I used to have issues with before I got scarper boots was coming down hills where I get a lot of pain in my toes and in my feet and getting the right correct size shoe is massive for that so I get these in an 11 which is a size larger than my normal shoes and it works perfectly for me for me so I always recommend that people should size up the walking boots but ideally if you can get into somewhere that sells them go and get them fitted by a professional but failing that a size up is always better than a size too small in my opinion the grip is fantastic the looks brilliant love the grey love the suede love the lime green colour ins really cool um, the lace lock at the bottom so in the lock in the lacing system there's like three clasps the bottom one will lock and then you can have different tension from the bottom of your laces to the top and around your ankle which is brilliant so that's a great option to have as well and i've really enjoyed using that bit of an innovation from scarpa and a really handy feature which i've i've took advantage of you can keep your bottom half of your laces really tight and you can loosen up or tighten the around your ankle depending on the terrain you're on which is which is brilliant in my opinion so as i said these scarpa hiking boots um, my second pair of scarpers the first being the maverick boots which i thought were the best boots i've ever owned these are by far the best boots i've ever owned now they just overtook the mavericks and uh, i must have done well over 100, 150 miles easily in these boots i've been on every terrain you could think of woodland i've been up in the fells i've been over scree on skidor been skidding down scree scrambling up cloughs in the peak district i've been scrambling in the lake district over rocks and they just stood up to everything and i've had no issues i've been on wild camps uh, where we've had torrential rain and i've had no issue with them wild camping is tricky at times you've got to try and keep those feet dry and stuff i was i was take dry socks for on an evening because although your socks feel your socks will be dry but they feel wet because they're cold putting boots on and off getting into tents and stuff is an issue so keeping them dry 
is really important when you're wild camping and they've been brilliant i've had no issues with them for that i just can't recommend them enough but you know shoes like anything else the fit the width i have narrow feet and these really suit my narrow feet uh, the changes for everybody so you need to go out and test them out yourselves i don't molly cuddle my walking gear i smash through the mud and the rubbish i don't try and go round uh you know puddles and mud I go straight through it uh, i try to avoid causing more corrosion than is required when we're out hiking you know sustainability is massive for the outdoors and when you're creating new paths by trying to avoid puddles and mud you're you know creating erosion and that's one of the reasons why i'm so confident about the gore-tex in these boots i know i wear the waterproof socks with them but never ever when i've been out of them had any doubt that they have worked in keeping my feet dry my socks are always dry so <sighs> legends i'm gonna sign off there this isn't about the spec you know they look nice the felt's cool the colors are good the comfort is unparalleled in any boot i've ever wore superb comfortable walking boot that i 100 percent recommend for anyone to try out but that is my personal opinion and it is unpaid for there's no um this isn't in conjunction with scarpa you know they haven't sent me the boots for free uh these were replacement boots for my mavericks because i had an issue with my mavericks which uh, you can see on my previous video but <clears throat> yeah I will 100% recommend the, the Scarpa Rush GTX mid boot. They have been absolutely phenomenal for me this year. And um, they've got a lot of work. Well, not a word in turn, but you can tell I've really hammered them this year. You can tell I've been walking a lot of miles. And um, when I clean them, I get the boot buddy out and I give them a good clean. Tonight I'll do the same. And I'll put some photographs on of before and after now. So there you go, there's your before and afters. You can see how clean they come up still and how decent condition they're still in. Even though, like I said, I've put a good 150 miles minimum and the elevation and whatnot. You see all the videos on my channel, you see me all year in these boots. So, yeah, really impressed, really recommend them. Um, they're a great, great fell walking and hiking boot. So if you're in the market for new boots, go and check them out. As always, if you haven't already, smash subscribe, smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know what boots you walk in. Let me know if you've ever had a pair of Scarpa boots or your preferred make of boot. Um, as always, legends, Make memories, not mess. Leave no trace. And I'll see you in the next one.